my topic today was fear. And my question for you, what fear is stopping you from getting to your dreams? What fear is stopping you from getting to your dreams? What is it that you are fearful to go out there and do that is stopping you to get to the place that you need to get? Fear, false fear is false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. That's the definition of fear. So what is it that is stopping you from becoming the best version of yourself? What is it that you're scared to go out there and do? There is something, even though you've already put in the time and the work, there is something that um, is stopping you from getting to the place you need to get. There is something that you're not willing to step out on. What is it that is stopping you from getting the place that you need to go to? You just got to do it. Fear. Fear stops us from moving forward. It stops us from getting to the place that we need to get to. And sometimes we just have to go out there and conquer our fears. There's so many things that um, we can go out and do that will conquer our fears. We won't move forward if we keep walking in fear. That, that's the message today. You won't move forward if you keep walking in fear. There's a couple of things I had to step out on this week. You might be like me and you had to tell yourself that um, today I'm, I'm going to do this even though I'm afraid, even though I, um, I feel all this fear inside. But I'm going to tell you today that the fear is good. It's not a bad thing. You're supposed to feel afraid. That means you're growing. That means you're moving forward. That means you're, you're getting to the place that you need to get. If you don't feel that fear, that means it's, it's something that you don't need to do. If you're not fearful of it, you're fearful of moving forward with your life, fearful of um, stepping into that business, fearful of trying new stuff. I'm telling you today just to go do it. Just to go do it, put in, keep putting in the work, don't let fear stop you from moving forward because so many people let fear stop them. They don't do stuff. They don't try new stuff because they're afraid to do it. They're afraid to, um, to try. And if you don't try it, you won't know that it will be good. You know, I was talking with Chris this week and there was a couple of things that I was afraid to do. I was afraid to go out and, um, meet new people because I haven't done it in a while. The pandemic has us like in this place where we haven't gone out to meet people in a while. So the fear of, of thinking that somebody will not accept you or you don't know what to say, that is hard. But guess what? When I did it, it felt good. When I went out and faced my fears and I met this gentleman and I sat with him and I talked with him for, for about half an hour. And I said, it's not that bad. It, it's not that scary after all. It's not that scary. The thing that you're most afraid of when you do it, you realize that it's not that bad. It, it's not going to break you, but it makes you feel like you've taken a leap of um, faith and you have grown. You have grown in um, the things that... You need to grow it, you know, because if you continue to let fear stop you from, from doing the things you need to do, you'll never do them. You can't let the fear stop you from starting the business. The, you can't let the fear stop you from going out there and getting a client. You can't let the fear stop you from um, growing. Fear comes to stop you. But you should feel some kind of fear when you, you're ready to step out. It was fearful to, to do this morning mindset. Me and Sean talks about it all the time. It was fearful when Chris said, oh, you guys got to start doing morning mindset for us. Hey, you think we get on here without no fear every morning? We are fearful. We are fearful because we don't know what, you, what, what to expect. We are fearful, but it's a good fear. It's a good, it's a good feeling, but when we do it, we feel fulfilled. We have a message to bring to you. And I'm telling you today, don't let your fear stop you from moving forward. Don't let your fear cause you to stay in the same place that you won't grow. Because we have to grow. We're on this morning mindset because we're people that are looking for something better. We're looking to grow. We, don't let your mind stop you from where you need to get to. Sometimes we talk ourselves out of the best things. We talk ourselves out of things that we we that is better for us. 
because of the fear, because of the fear of moving forward. Sometimes we're so used to being in the same place. People are feared, fearful of getting wealthy. Do you know that? That, that was funny this week when I, I was looking up and reading up about some of the things that have us fearful. And people are fearful of um, getting in a wealthy place because they, they might be fearful of getting broke again. And if you've been in a place where you have lack, when you get a lot, you want to hold on to it. You want to hold on to it. And, and you have your money and now you don't want to go spend it because you're fearful that you'll go broke. You don't want to give it away. You don't want to share with people because you're fearful that you're going to go broke again. But sometimes you have to step out on that fear and you got to give away. You got to go serve somebody. You got to step out because if you hold on to everything and don't step out, you won't move forward. Fear is a part of growing. And I was listening to Kobe too, and Kobe was talking about this, and I love Kobe. God rest his soul. I love that man. Kobe was talking about being fearful when he just started and, and not making enough um, goals his first um, summer league that he went in, but he never let that fear stop him. He went out and figured the basic of basketball. He went out and figured how, how to, to just learn the basics so he could be better. So when you feel like your fear is stopping you in whatever you're doing, whether it's your job, your career, your business, now you go out and research how to be the best at what you do. You go look, how can I be the best at what I do so I don't be fearful of where I'm going? How can I master my craft? How can I get to the place of purpose? So if you let your fear overrun you, you'll never step out. Don't let the fear um, stop you from going and taking that exam that you need to take, going and doing that job interview, go and start that new business. Don't let your fear stop you. Some of the fear that you feel is good. It is good. It's not bad for you. You're supposed to feel a little bit fearful. You're supposed to, but you're not supposed to let it stop you. That's what the video say. You should not let it stop you. Even though you feel fearful, you shouldn't let it stop you. You shouldn't let it stop you from doing the things you need to do. You should let it push you into your place of purpose. You should let it motivate you to go to the next level. Fear is normal, but so many of us today let our fear stop us from moving forward. And I don't want you to be that person today. That's why I'm talking about it. I realized that this week I went through some of those fears, but I didn't let it stop me. I stepped out. I went out and did the work. You're going to have to go out and do the work. So the fear don't overrun your mind. On Friday, if you all were on Morning Mindset, Chris talked about your mind and what you let into it and what you let control it. So every time you feel fearful and you're thinking about fearful stuff, Find something that will motivate you. Go, go read a book. Go listen to a podcast that will encourage you to get your mind out of that, that, that fear or thinking about that fear. Or just go do the thing that you're fearful of. It's so many ways to, to, to get that out of your head. You can either go do the thing you're fearful of. You can either get rid of the thought by listening to something good or just do it. Just do it. Nike said, just do it. That's one of my slogans. I said, just do it. Even though you're fearful, just do it. You'll realize that it's, it's not even something to be afraid of. We have to move to another level in this season and in this time. And we can't let our fears hold us back. So many people have gone to the grave because they let their fear hold them back and they did not get to the place of purpose. And we're on morning mindset because we are on, we're on an assignment to do what God has called us in this land to do. We should not walk in fear. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So let your faith overrun your fear. And even though you don't see yourself in a better place, even though you cannot physically see it, spiritually see it, mentally see it, and know that if you step out, God will do the rest. Because he has not called you to something that you cannot do. He has not called you to some place that you cannot go. He has not called you to the things that you cannot do. 
He has called you to things that you can do. Your purpose is written. God has written your chapter of life and anything that he has put in your heart, put in your spirit, I've given you to do. He will not leave it undone because he's not a God to lie. His word doesn't lie and he doesn't lie. So he will do what he said he's going to do. So if he told you, if he told you that you're going to be successful, if he told you that you're going to be good, you're going to be a book writer, you're going to be an actor, you're going to be um, the best financial person in the land, believe him because it will surely come to pass. But if we let our fears overrun us, it will not come to pass. We have to have faith over fear. And we have to know that sometimes the fear is not bad. It's so it can push us forward and not backwards. So if you let your fear push you into a corner, you're not going to get to where you need to get to. Don't let your fear push you in a corner. Push your fear back this morning. Push it back. Don't let it beat you up. Beat it up. Beat up the fear. Step out. Work hard. Work hard. God didn't promise us an easy life. We know we're going to have to put in the work. And the work is that you're going to overcome the fear and you're going to step into your place of purpose. And you're going to do what God has called you to do because he has he has designed you for a time and a season like this. If you don't know that, if you don't know, I always tell you guys on morning mindset, if you don't know what your purpose is, go ask God. He'll tell you. If you don't know what he's called you to do and where he's called you to go, Go talk to him. He'll answer you, whether he sent it through the word or through a person or he speaks to you in a small, still voice. He will tell you why he's designed you and what he needs you to do in this land. And you can't let your fear bully you. You have to walk by faith and not by sight. Sometimes the things that God has called us to, it takes time to manifest. It takes work to manifest and we might not see it with our natural eyes. But if you know that God has spoken it into your spirit, it will surely come to pass. You got to not quit on yourself and you got to not let the fear beat you down. You got to push past the fear so you can grow and so you can step in the place of purpose. That is my message for you guys this morning. And I hope you listen to me and you step out. You don't let fear bully you. When you remember, when the fear comes in your mind, you'll remember that Carlene said, be up the fear, beat up the fear, punch it in its face (laughs) and continue to push forward. You guys are welcome. You're welcome on this morning. Just go out and live a productive life. Do something. Chris always said it. Do something that scares you today. Do something that scares you because that fear is not going to beat you down. You're going to beat it down. So go out and do something that, that scares you today and have a productive day. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. 